Mike Mello from the Nerds of Color. Um, hi, Eric. It's a pleasure to talk to you. How's it going, Mike? Here with the fluffiest man in show business. How are nice. you? <laughs> I'm doing good. I love I love the background, man. Very, uh, very custom. I had to represent. I've always wanted to do this. I got to be honest, like just that, you know, kind of thing uh, that Forky does. Um, but yeah, thank you for doing this today. I a huge fan of your work, honestly. Been watching Looney Tunes cartoons for the longest time. Uh, the HBO Max series is awesome, and of course, you've got a new legacy coming out, and that's huge. I was a huge fan of the original Space Jam. I'm a huge fan of Looney Tunes in general. Um, I, I imagine back in those days, um, you know, you were a fan with me. You're watching in the movie theater and everything like that. Um, as a fan, what do you think fans can expect from a new legacy? And what are you hoping fans take away from this uh, as it contributes to the legacy of the original Space Jam? Well, absolutely. You're looking at the biggest Looney Tunes fan. I would have all of this stuff in my house even if I weren't in the movie. <laughs> I definitely grew up watching the original Space Jam. Uh, I mean, I collected every poster, every t-shirt, all the memorabilia, all the toys. Um, I just know the scenes inside and out. And the fans of the original and the fans of Looney Tunes are going to watch this film and be completely satisfied with how it came out. Uh, again, the world around the Looney Tunes will always change, no matter what year it is, uh, but they will always stay the same. If you have the right people in charge uh, to as the storytellers, uh, and, and like LeBron, who is a huge fan of the original and the Looney Tunes, they're in good hands. Uh, well, it is a, a very different film. You know, the only thing that's the same is it's a basketball superstar and uh, Looney Tunes characters. But this story is, is there's a lot more twists and turns in it. And uh, it's not what you're going to expect. There is a goon squad, but the way that the goon squad gets there is very different from the original. Uh, what do I hope people take away from this movie? A lot of merchandise. There's going to be a lot of stuff on the shelves. <laughs> There's going to be Looney Tunes stuff everywhere. So make sure you go online now and, and, and start ordering stuff because it's it's going to be epic. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be able to find some Speedy Gonzalez stuff. Uh, you know, hit me up. I'll, I'll sign it. <laughs> Heck yeah. I want a Speedy hat, man. And then I, I definitely would love for you to sign it. That would be amazing. Or like a Speedy doll that has your voice. That would be amazing. Take that would be up. really cool too. Uh, <laughs> we, we, I, I checked the Funko store to see if they had one because they, they made a, a bunch of Space Jam stuff, but they had have not yet made a, a speedy Funko uh, yeah. uh, for, for Space Jam. There is a Speedy Gonzalez one uh, that came out a few years ago, but good luck finding it. When you think about Speedy, he's smart, he's quick, he always gets the upper hand on his enemies. And as, as you know, one of the biggest Latino stars out there today, certainly the fluffiest, um, how do you feel about the character and his impact on uh, Latino culture? Uh, well, you know, Speedy Gonzalez has always been viewed as like a hero and an icon uh, in my family. Uh, you know, we, we didn't really have a whole lot of people to uh, gravitate towards. He was, you know, the, he was our superhero. He was pretty much our everything. And so we've never seen him in a negative light. And so when I was given the opportunity to uh, play him, of course, cancel culture had something to say. And I jumped in there with both feet, man, and I uh, got on Twitter and started defending him. And uh, I appreciated the fact that Warner Brothers saw that and they reached out and they said, look, thank you for uh, standing up for the character and defending him. And if, uh, you know, once we start recording, if there's any, you know, anything that you feel uncomfortable with or anything you want to change or add to the character, we're all ears. And I thought that spoke volumes. And so when given the opportunity, they said, do you want to change the voice? And I thought like, wow, really? Because um, I had the conversation with the director and he's like, do you think that maybe the voice is a little too stereotypical? Maybe you want to use your regular speaking voice. And I'm like, you know what? When people watch the movie, I don't want them to hear me and think of me. I want them to think of Speedy Gonzalez. And they said, well, what about the stereotypical part? And I says, you have not met my family. Trust me, you're good. And uh, then the question was, what can you do Speedy? And I'm like, I think I got it down. And they're like, all right, three, two, one. And next thing you know, I am a Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in all Mexico. Hola, amigo. Arriba. And then they, they said, wow, that's really good. I said, I know that was good. I've been Mexican a long time. I said, but don't think that just because I'm Mexican, I can only do the Mexican character. I says, I've been doing voices a long time. I says, I can do the whole movie by myself. I says, you want Marvin the Martian? Oh, my. Oh, my modulator. You want Yosemite Sam? Ah, like that rabbit. You want Bugs Bunny? What's up, Doc? 
You want Porky Pig? I says, you can fire all the actors today. I will do the whole movie for half. Eric, if I could touch on your Filipino heritage for a bit, because I'm Filipino myself. Um, and it's, it's for us, for the nerds of color, it's such a huge deal to be able to talk to people like us and, and to see people like us represented um, on big screens, in big movies like Space Jam and New Legacy. So for me, it means everything, I think, that we've got um, the first Asian person of Asian descent voicing Bugs Bunny, you know, in, in Looney Tunes cartoons. Of course, Jeff voices him in the movie. Um, but, but being that first Asian representative is, is huge. I wanted to ask, as a Filipino, um, voiceover artists, is, it's not exactly a parentally approved career path in most, in most households. Um, did your parents encourage you to get into voice acting? And, um, you know, how did, how did that go? And, you know, um, do you have any advice for people that want to go into that but have a parental challenge kind of um, pursuing it? Well, uh, kamusta ka na, uh, Mike? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to convince Warner Brothers to animate bugs with some lumpia instead of a carrot. But, um, yeah, I feel like, uh, and that's the Filipino egg roll, if you guys uh, look it up on Google. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, look, we're living in this age where, uh, you know, representation matters. And, and I feel like... I am behind a microphone. You rarely get to see me, but if if you're looking at this interview, you're watching this interview now, and you know, I, I say if you share this face, or if you don't, if if you feel like you're you're different in any way, or you're shy to use your voice, I love that uh, I can be someone that hopefully can encourage people to not be shy or to take the dive. It doesn't matter, it, you know, it, it, whatever culture it is. Some some people are just so like. Should I should I do this career? Should I choose this career path? And if it's your passion, then I think you should, no matter what it is. It could it could be, you know, being the best plumber uh, on the planet or being the best duck on the planet. Uh, you know, do do what your your heart desires. And and having parents that in like were so encouraging to me uh, what was everything. If it wasn't for family, I would not be here right now. And as a father myself, I will continue that tradition in our family to continue to encourage, uh, you know, your kids. And that's the message of this movie. Uh, the biggest surprise of this Looney Tunes movie is that you may shed a tear, uh, you know, watching this film. Thank you so Mike, much. I you were awesome. It. Thank you very much, man. You were amazing, Gabriel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eric. Uh, this means everything to me. This means everything to our blog. And I can't wait for people to see uh, Space Jam and New Legacy on July 16th. Hey, uh, me, uh, me, uh, my boo hi, Mike. Movies and TV, yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check. This is the hard knock.